Hi Mustangs, it's Mrs. Alice here, ready for class meeting week two, um, coming at you from our YouTube channel, working on keeping everybody in touch and hope all of you are well. Let's start off by checking in with our zone. Remember this is talking about how we're feeling um, inside and being aware of how our bodies are feeling so when we start to feel frustrated or angry we can do those things that we've learned to help um, calm our bodies down and make those positive choices. So today I'm I'm feeling green. I feel happy and I'm feeling pretty calm and I'm also a little yellow because I'm excited to hopefully get to reach out to most of you um, throughout the week this week. So um, the next thing is last week I forgot we didn't do a breath so as I'm getting used to this new format let's take a second and do one that we've already learned so today let's do the gorilla breath I know a lot of you like that one so one, one hand on our chest remember that deep breath goes in through your nose and then out through your mouth here we go Nice job. Okay, so as I said last week, we are working on empathy. Empathy is that ability to understand how other people are feeling. And um, so today I have a really cool story to share with you um, that is dealing with just that, empathy, and thinking about how others are feeling. It's called Hey Little Ant. So I'm going to share this with you today and um, give you a little assignment for when I see or talk with you the next time. So Hey Little Ant by Philip and Hannah who's and illustrations are done by Debbie Tilly okay Get what you can see here we go kid hey little ant down on the down in the crack can you hear me can you talk back see my shoe can you see that well now it's gonna squish you flat Ant, please, oh, please do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh, please don't make me die. Kid, anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny. You don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think it'll hurt at all. Ant. But you are a giant, and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close, I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Kid, are you crazy? Me, like you? I have a home and a family, too. You're not, sorry, I can't see very well. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Ant, oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me, cause I am strong. I dig out nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. Kid, but my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and bread comes to cr bread crumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Ant. Hey, I'm not a crook, kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please, don't make your shoe come down. K. 
kid. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me. They're listening, too. They all say I should squish you. Should he do it just because his friends are telling him to? Ant, I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Mm. Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think the kid should do? Hmm. So as you may have guessed, that's my question for you today. What do you think the kid should do? Should he squeeze the ant, squish the ant or should he not? Think about how, what he learned about why the ant was a lot like him. And thinking about how the ant feels, that's what empathy is. And also in that book, it talks about the word squish. Keeps The ant says, don't squish me. So we're going to take that word squish and use it as a, a little helpful tool. Let's see if I can get this to where you can see it. So the S stands for start or spread rumors. That's something that squishes people. Q, quit including others. When you leave people out, it's like you squish them. U, use mean words. That's a squish behavior. Ignore someone on purpose. Say threatening things. And the H, humiliate others. Think about how you want to be treated. Don't squish others. I think my poster may be backwards for you on there now that I'm looking at it. So when you go to the Google Classroom or you watch this on YouTube or both, um, I'll have a copy of that on there if you want to have your own to be able to look at. And the next time I see you, I'm going to um, ask you, what do you, what do you think you could have done or could you have done something that didn't squish someone? What are some ways that maybe you can work on not squishing others and think about how others are feeling? Okay. Until the next time I see you, miss you all, stay safe, stay well, and we will talk soon.